All right. Man, stressful times right now, trying to finish up this last semester, and my teachers are kind of bad for the teachers that I need to finish up with on this specific class. Nevertheless, there's a lot of stuff going on. So many things I want to mention. The mass shooting in DC, for example. But I have to set all that aside and focus on other stuff. I did want to mention one thing. I got a hold of, or, or someone got a hold of me on the comment asking me about Miley Cyrus, one of my videos. And she said something about Miley Cyrus, like, do I think things are going to change now that people like Myra Lee are twerking as a black woman ask me about more or less something like how are things going to change was the comment. I'd switch to it, but the video program I'm using will turn off if I switch to the... Anyhow, she's asking me about how things will change. Things will change like this. Miley Cyrus is a white whore, which just goes without saying. And the whole reason why she matters to the people she matters to is because supposedly she fell from grace. Never mind that Disney is a horrible com com company. She was never in any kind of high position. She was always a whore. She just wasn't a sexualized whore. Always a worthless person. Always a bad influence. But she was, she, it's especially a big deal that she became sexualized or that it's showing her sexualized because she was birth control for our bratty, unprincipled daughters. No, no, you don't want to be with boys, 14 year olds, 15 year olds. You're like, look at, look at Hannah Montana. Anything for birth control for these brats that, that, whose parents can't control them with the damn white kids, white Americans, and other races too. But here's why, here's the real service, real service that the Miley Cyrus twerking nonsense and things like that does. It provides plausible deniability. It makes you think, oh, then it must be okay. It provides that to black women with black women and girls with low self-respect. I'm going to mention a couple of things. One, I am, if you saw my video on the father who beat his daughters and put it on Facebook, that video has like 200,000 views. It jumped up all crazy. Most of my videos have like a couple hundred. But in that video, I mentioned more or less that I have no problem with twerking. I think it's actually really good because it's really good for your body. It's really good for the, the, the center of your body to move like that and to begin with that as your foundation for movement. Uh, plenty of people have these like, moral objections or want to protect women objections. I'm into kinesiology. I've mentioned to plenty of people. That's what I'd be doing if there weren't so much politics to talk about. In a perfect world, I'd be focused on kinesiology, the study of movement, posture, and things like that. I'm not interested in moral arguments about twerking or boys will think that the girls want sex if they twerk, girls want sex, just so you know. So I'm actually very much for twerking, but I'm not for the whole put yourself out as a needy person and seek approval. That's the thing that annoys me and, and really I pity so many people that I see. Just when they do that step where they say something, they kind of look around hoping, to, just that kind of seeking approval drives me crazy. So this kind of seeking approval, and, and I don't mean it like, Miley Cyrus wants people to like her, so she's trying what she, no, I mean that whole, hey, I matter, right? I matter, I'm gonna put red all over my face. I matter, right? Hey, I shaved my head a little bit. She's worthless as fuck, and she's just an embarrassment to all the opportunities she's been handed as a, um, supposedly attractive white woman in a white supremacist culture. That's the other point I wanted to mention when I say that black women, uh, that the Miley Cyrus nonsense serves a purpose for black women and girls with low self-esteem. Plenty of people think black women and girls, none of them have low self-esteem. You hear how loud they are, this, that, and the other thing. Not that they're all loud, but I mean, that's kind of the mentality when you say low self-esteem. You're like, what? If anything, they have too much self-esteem. No, that's all a front for plenty of black women and girls, all that loud, ridiculous, attention-seeking, trying to prove yourself, that's low self-esteem. So all the twerking that fits right into there with the low self-esteem thing. So again, we have what black women and girls with low self-esteem seeing Miley Cyrus, and they have a white supremacist mindset. So if she's doing it, and she's getting respect and fame, then I can just stay the course. Maybe I won't even get respect and fame, but you know, it's a, it's a viable option. 
to go putting myself out this way. And again, I'm not against um, girls sexualizing themselves, I'm not against twerking, but I'm against attention seeking out of a sense of low self-estimation, low self-esteem, out of neediness and trying to, to get approval from a bad culture. The white supremacist aspect of our culture is not simply that black women and girls are white supremacists so they like whites more than blacks. It's nothing like that. It's that they have a white supremacist mindset where if they see a black woman or girl doing something stupid or careless or just a bad idea, they'll say, well, that's a bad idea. It's a person doing that. It's a bad idea. They see a white person do it, especially a pretty white person, and more on black women's take on pretty white girls in a second. They see a, pr a white girl doing it, especially pretty, they have a white supremacist mindset and go like, well, it must be okay because those people that matter are doing it, attractive white women. You know, and I'm talking about what I'm talking about, not what I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about the black women who see through that nonsense and say, you know what, fuck this behavior in general, it doesn't matter that the white women do it, they get away with more, da da da. I'm not talking about that. There are plenty of black women who think like that, but plenty of white supremacists, low self esteem black women and girls see a white woman, especially a pretty white girl, not beautiful, we'll get to it. Pretty white girl, and they think, wow, if she's doing it and it's acceptable, you know, maybe I could do it. In my video about the father beating her daughter, at the end of the video, I show a couple of white girls dancing and acting like idiots for the camera trying to get attention. And I point out that those girls, they're supposedly pretty white girls, those girls will have every excuse made for them in the world if they fail and become absolutely worthless, objectively unlikable people. Every excuse will be made and so much help will be given. And I pointed out that the black girls whose father beat them, they were like threes on a scale of one to 10 in our culture for many reasons. People would consider them like a three. If they fail, if they, you know, if twerking leads to failure in their life, you know, however, if that's what the father thinks, no one will take care of them. So that's what the father was having to realize. It's like, my daughters really aren't that pretty. They can't be putting themselves out like that because they're going to lose. But those kind of girls can see the Miley Cyrus kind of girls and think, no, this is a viable option. I should do this. Not realizing that, no, you don't get the allowances of an attractive white woman. A, a comparable thing I wanted to mention, that's something that's sort of related to this, is when uh, mothers, especially single mothers, act like absolute fucking idiots, and culture just pretends that they're not doing that, and they act objectively stupid, and culture just says, no, it must be someone else's fault. What did the father do? All this nonsense and subsidizing of women acting like fucking idiots. Little boys see their mothers acting like that and they go, oh, I guess if you act like a fucking idiot, people will subsidize you and take care of you and, and make excuses for you. Then eventually that boy becomes a man and he has this, the, the idea that, oh, I'm gonna act like my mom, a fucking lunatic, somebody who is objectively unlikable and isn't respectful towards people. I saw my mom get away with it and get all kinds of excuses. They just do that. They don't think that, but they just kind of say, oh, that's how we should act. And then they fail because just like the black girls who are like threes see the Miley Cyrus twerking and go like, oh, I guess that's what we can do. No, you're not a pretty white girl. And then the boy sees the mom acting like a fucking lunatic and goes, oh, I guess culture tolerates this. No, from women it tolerates it. And there's a whole long reason for that. Really, it's because we need women to seem like the nurturing people that we should take care of no matter how shitty and objectively unlikable they are because then we can justify war, etc., and say, oh, the poor innocent women and children are increasingly ridiculous, the women and children. But um, there's something else. Although the, the, the prettiness, um, low self-esteem of black women and girls. Uh, one more thing to mention about low self-esteem of black people in general, take a look at the stats at some point if you haven't for the CDC, Center for Disease Control, .gov. You should be looking at those stats anyways, pretty useful. But black men are have a high preponderance or, or, or they're quite prone to suicide. Why would they, you know, suicide is connected to self-esteem. Black men are so confident. Well, when you watch a lot of TV, you might think that because black men are overrepresented and they show the cartoon character most excellent. So if you're a normal, like like normal on the, just a regular, you're not exceptional, you're not terrible. If you're a normal black guy, you feel like a fucking loser because you don't add up to the cartoon characters they push forward. Do you know what a typical black guy is? Well, he's about six foot five, 230 pounds, 12 inch thick, and you're just a regular guy, you feel terrible. So believe it or not, there are plenty of black men with low self-esteem. And I'm setting that aside, it's just an example. But black women and girls, of course, in this white supremacist culture where they see people like them failing 
exponentially more. And it's this whole, well, in the 60s, there was a civil rights movement, therefore any failure you do is just your own fault. And then black people fail far more than whites, proportionately. And so they must just be more often losers, is the status quo. Couldn't be that the legacy of uh, fucking slavery still exists, white supremacy, etc. But uh, enough of that. The atmosphere created when you're a black woman or girl and you see failures and losers and, and people falling by the wayside, no one caring, all this kind of stuff, people caring more for white people. You just have a white supremacist mindset where you might just think white people are better or prettier or more beautiful or whatever. But you might just think, oh, if they do something, then it is acceptable by default. So I want to do the thing they're doing. You're buying into white supremacy because it's not okay just because a pretty white girl does it. Miley Cyrus, again, not the twerking or the, or the wanting sex or anything, but the the neediness, the attention, the wanting to be a whore for media and all that kind of stuff. You see that, you, look, you lust for it. That is the, the uh, service that the whore Miley Cyrus uh, provides. The last thing I'll mention, uh, this isn't going to be woven together very well, but one thing I left out because I didn't put it, it couldn't really fit into the video I made about my take on black women. I left this out and it's that black women and girls, you know, like teenage girls, girls that I've dealt with, black women uh, that I've dealt with, they are so susceptible. I see them being susceptible. And I, like if I use certain words and I see them being susceptible, they are so susceptible to a white man or woman, but especially a white man that they find attractive calling them pretty. Beautiful they hear and it's this whole like you're beautiful, but that kind of has something to do with maybe exotic so it kind of fits with their frame of reference for yeah i'm kind of exotic or i'm curvier than he might be used to something like that but when you say pretty to a white or to a black girl as a white guy we're talking low self-esteem white girls white supremacist um, girls not dealing well with the legacy and the, the present day white supremacy when you tell I, I don't do it usually i'm very careful about using that because they think of the miley cyruses as pretty very white, very smooth skin, all that kind of stuff. And so when you tell them you're pretty, then all of a sudden they think they matter. Meaning that they always did, but they go from I don't matter, from low self-esteem to whoa, I matter. White person told me I'm pretty. No, not beautiful, not sexy, not hot, not vivacious, exotic, anything like that. You're pretty. That's just a deal breaker for their thought process. They can't think after they, they love you. They make you that's the world to them is to actually be considered pretty that's poisonous as fuck and um, like I said I wasn't going to tie that together very well but yeah that's the, that's the role that whores like Miley Cyrus provide um, you gotta look out for all the pawns and puppets that get affected by that but especially black women and girls with low self esteem they're very prone to believing that if somebody who is pretty like that worthless piece of shit Miley Cyrus who you know, never fell from grace because she was never in grace she was uh, birth control television for our nation's unprincipled daughters and their bad parents so when the low self-esteem black women and girls see that especially black girls when they see that you gotta remind them you know what this is a worthless ass person. It doesn't matter how pretty she's perceived. It doesn't matter what she, it looks like as far as the fame she's getting or the attention or anything like that. No matter what race, gender, or anything like that, no matter how much that's put forward as success, if you go that route, you will not be successful. And you'll know how fucking miserable people like my my Cyrus are, but also how miserable all the people who fall in the on the wayside trying to, to go after that fantasy. That's the, that was me saying that's what you ought to remind, especially black girls when they see worthless women like Miley Cyrus, whatever they're doing. Like I said, the twerking is just incidental. That's the, the hot thing. And like, oh, it's, oh, it's sexual. Whatever, worthless white political pawn, social pawns are doing. Guard the black girls, especially those that are prone to self-esteem based on white supremacist culture tell them that the Miley Cyruses of our culture and of the world are fucking worthless.